Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. And today we are gonna take a look at the golf swing of Megan Kang. Megan picked up her first LPGA Tour victory last week at the Canadian Open. She also qualified for to be a member of this year's Solheim Cup team. Megan is known as one of the most accurate drivers in the LPGA Tour. She averages over an astounding 80% of her fairways. And I'm going to show you one tip that will help you drive the golf ball straighter, more consistently, and help you hit more fairways today. But before we get into doing that, if you guys are watching this video on Facebook, please make sure you follow me on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel on YouTube as I'm posting videos of these professional players all the time with tips and tricks that'll help you play better golf. So the first thing we're gonna do with Megan here is we're gonna put a line down her right side here. First thing I really wanna show is how she really shifts into that right side there. She really loads her right side properly. That's the first move she makes in the golf swing. She gets a lot of power out of that because as she starts moving here, you see that hip really start staying, it doesn't stay still, but it starts rotating behind her. So as she continues rotating, you can see we get to this position here. She's got the L formed here with the lead arm and the golf club, maintaining a lot of wrist hinge there. Definitely a wide shoulder turn here. You can see she's almost got a 90 degree turn, but as she keeps going to where that trail shoulder, now you can see kind of popping behind the head a little bit there. That's a great Great flexibility there, lots of mobility in this golf swing. You can see she's even got her head similar to what Justin Thomas does. He allows himself to turn it to the right a little bit to just really get a little bit bigger of a backswing and complete that shoulder turn. Now, as we watch the start of the downswing here, we're gonna watch this lead hip. And you can see that transfer into the lead side there just before the golf swing, she gets to the top of her backswing. And now this is where a lot of that lag that's created in the golf swing. So this is where she gets her power from. You can see again, the lag here is created by the weight transfer by loading up the bat, the right side properly in the backswing and then transferring that weight to the downswing. But we know that Megan is a very accurate driver of the golf ball. This is the one thing that I want to point out to you here, where she gets her accuracy, accuracy from. As she gets an impact here, what I want to notice, and I want to kind of focus on her lead shoulder there, so it would be her left shoulder. As she starts continuing through impact, you can see how that left shoulder keeps turning and her hands stay in front of her chest. Too many times we see amateur players at this position in the golf swing and their lead shoulder is still over here. So what that means is they stop their body from moving, their body has stopped rotating, and they've gone through impact with their hands and arms. One of two things is going to happen here. If your body stops rotating, you're probably going to push the ball out to the right side. Or if you can actually square up your hands and flip your hands through an impact, you're going to end up moving the golf ball to the left side here, probably hitting some type of a hook or a ball that's going to go to the left. So if those are your two ball flights that you have, let's focus on getting that lead shoulder moving through impact. As you can see here, her hands do a real nice job in front of her chest full extension, but again, she continues to rotate her body. So the rotation of her body through impact is what helps Megan Kang be one of the most accurate drivers in the LPGA Tour. We know it's gonna help her pick up more victories, and we hope it's gonna help lead the USA to a victory in the Solheim Cup this year.